Let's take a look in this video how you can create a nice rendering from a SketchUp scene in Kirkathea. In order to get this going, I downloaded Kirkathea 2008 from their website and I downloaded the SU to Kirkathea plugin that will create a toolbar uh, that you might have to activate through View Toolbars. So here's my toolbar. Just going to put it up here. And the scene is set up like any other where I have a uh, certain light set up, so a certain, certain day uh, day, uh, sunlight basically, uh, where I get a good shadow in my room. I have set up um, transparent materials for the window. I've set up translucent materials right here for the shades. Um, and those have about a 60-70% translucency. Um, you can set those up any which way you like. One thing that you can set up is um, reflective materials, and we'll do that in just a second. And one last thing that I want to do is add a um, spotlight to my scene. So in, that, in order to do that, I need to basically just place it up here on, this, on, the, on the ceiling. In the SU to Kirkathea toolbar, there's, um, there are actually two tools. One is uh, to install a point light, one is to install a spotlight. When you click on the spotlight, you need to place it somewhere. It'll snap wherever you want it. In my case, I'm just going to place it right up here. And then the next thing is, of course, a direction, and that needs to go down um, on the blue axis because it's supposed to be down light. So once I click here, I get my option to get a few parameters here. So for example, the light power I can increase from 0 0.3 to 1. I could also have some other options here, like the hotspot falloff um, uh, numbers. I can change any which way I like. And then actually you can work with animation as well. But for our purpose, we're, we're, we're good with these settings. So we're going to click on OK here. Our spotlight is ready. Our scene is pretty much set up with all the materials. We're going to tweak some in, in Kirkathea, but, but we're ready to go. So in order to move this over to Kirkathea, we're going to click on the button Export Model to Kirkathea. The important thing here is that you uncheck the selection only because you want to actually export everything. We want to export geometry. We want to export the lights, the one that we just created. Clay means no uh, textures, and that's not what I want to do this time. Um, some of these other ones are miscellaneous for now. So then once you click on OK, you need to find a good place to save the XML file at. I'm going to save it right here. And when that is done, uh, the plugin gives you an option to open the exported model in Kirkathea. If you click on Yes and everything has set up properly, you'll be taken to Kirkathea in my case. Something didn't work out well, so it doesn't open automatically, but that's not a real problem. All you need to do is open up Kirkathea, then go to Open to load that file, browse to where your file is, and pull the file in right here. It comes in as a wireframe just like this. If you hit the V key, you get textures, and you can kind of get a better view of what's where, including lights, and there's my... There's my spotlight from earlier. So now we can do a test rendering just to kind of see what we got. The way that you start any rendering is using this button up here. Start render. Gives you camera and settings. Now in my case, I actually have a perspective view that I preset. As you can see here, all the tabs come in as, as views and you can pick them. And a good idea is usually for the first rendering actually not to make it big at all. So I'm going to go with 320 by 240 as a resolution. We're going to just leave the settings. If you want to change those, you might want to switch it to photon map quick or low. I'm going to just switch it to low for that purpose, and then the rest we're going to leave as is and click OK. When you do that, you'll see a little preview popping up down here in a second. You can also click on image up here and pull that down, which gives you a preview of the rendering. And once everything's finished, there are no buttons here. 
then your rendering is finished. And so we already have quite a good rendering. We do have nice um, sunlight here. We do have some nice sun reflections right here behind the, the curtain, and the curtain is translucent just the way we want it. You can also see that the spotlight comes through real nicely right here as an additional internal light. Now one thing that didn't work, of course, is our mirror. So let's set that one. All I need to do here is highlight the mirror. Now what's important there is that all of the materials have to be um, grouped by and, and they're named by material um, as you want to change it here because in Kirkathea the same materials will appear under the same name right here and you will change material properties for all of the surfaces that have that material applied. So in my case here I'm actually good. I'm going to select the mirror. Then over on the left, I can right click. I can go apply material. There's a basic pack that came with Kirkathia. And somewhere way on the bottom, outside of my, my view right now, there's a mirror material. And when I apply that, this thing turns black, which is good, actually. Then I'm going to click on Start Render again. Same properties. OK. And let's look at the picture and see what comes up next. And you will see very quickly that the mirror now works. And we do actually have a quite a nice rendering at this point. So that's a basic introduction to how you can move your SketchUp file over to Kirkathia and create a rendering using that that program. In the book, I'll talk a little bit more about how you can make this shadow fuzzy and how you can actually um, give reflections to the floor uh, by simply adding, uh, editing some material properties.